What's happening out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually suck anything into your MOC. We're talking aircrafts to helicopters, planes, anything you want. You can do it with cars as well obviously. If you haven't seen that last video I'll leave a link to that down in the pinned comment. But uh, yeah, I went over how to, you know, just normally get cars with the gift cards to friends. This one's going to be how to get aircrafts, all right? First of all, before I tell you everything else you need, the main thing you need is obviously a hangar because that's where you want to save the aircraft, and that hangar must be full. So if you look at the gameplay right now, what I'm doing is I'm actually filling up my hangar with Pegasus vehicles. You can do this with buzzards, uh, titans if you want, you know, hydras, anything, cargo bobs. Just keep calling up Pegasus vehicles and keep flying them in there until the hangar is full. Okay, and uh, Founders, as always, will be linked down in the description. Go check them out. Now, the other things you're going to need, you need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage. You need an RH shader, Fagio, inside of the MOC. Both you and your friend, so you need one friend, obviously. It's a gift card to friends. So both you and your friend need to own a bunker and an MOC, so make sure that's definitely there. And an invite only. One of the most important things, your friend needs to be the host of the session. Okay, so if he's giving you a vehicle... He needs to be the host, all right? That's very, very important. So in this case, I'm getting an aircraft. My friend Macclesfield, shout out to him, will be giving me a vehicle. So you see how I got the hangar full message right here? That's what you want to see, okay? So I just kept pulling in Pegasus vehicles, you know, buzzards. And finally, I got the hangar full. I think it's about 20 vehicles that can actually fit in the hangar. So make sure that you have it full. It's going to look something like this. I have mine pretty much filled up with buzzards. As you can see right here, everything is on the floor full and in the storage as well, okay? So basically, you want to do this because you will get ghost spots in your MOC. You can potentially get a ghost spot in your MOC, and you don't want that, all right? You don't want a ghost spot anywhere. So to avoid that, make sure your hangar is full before you even attempt to do the glitch. Now... Once we've once we've gotten, you know, into the bunker and stuff, make sure your friend is the host. So Macclesfield, my friend, started up this invite only, and then I'm going to go ahead and go into my bunker, into my MOC, and grab my RH8. Now I'm just going to simply send him an invite to my bunker, okay? And remember, he's the host of the session. He's giving me a vehicle. He's actually giving me a laser, uh, you know, the, uh, the jet, and he actually put that over at the docks. You can choose to do that before or after. It's up to you. It doesn't always stay there because your friend needs to start up a job. So... I would recommend that, you know, you can either have it outside of the bunker or at the docks. It's totally up to you. Either way, you're going to have to get it to the docks at some point. So PlayStation, you guys have a recent activity ready. Xbox, you need to join a friend in a different targeting mode. So I'm going to show you right here how to do this on PlayStation first, and I'm going to explain on Xbox. So what just happened right there is I pressed right D-pad to enter the MOC, and I quickly double tapped and hit Star GT Online on that recent activity, and now I'm sitting on this alert. So you want to sit on this alert for 20 to 25 seconds, then tell your friend to walk into your MOC. Now, in this case, my friend got stuck on a black screen, which is happening to many, many people. So if your friend just gets stuck on a black screen for more than a minute, it's probably not going to work. Just back out of this and you're going to see that both of you guys will be spawned in the MOC. Now, the way to fix this is to actually, you're going to see me do it right here. We're actually just going to hop into my vehicle and drive out. You want to drive out of your bunker, request the MOC, and then return it to storage, okay? You can also buy a new vehicle in the MOC. I've done that, and it's actually caused it to work as well. But in this case, we're just going to be doing, you know, this version. We were doing this all of yesterday. That's why I actually didn't post anything. We were testing the hell out of this glitch, and we figured out a lot of cool stuff, okay? And this is one of them. So, as you can see right here, if your friend keeps getting stuck on the black screen, make sure you both exit the bunker. You want to drive out with the vehicle that you're going to be riding over, which is this RH8. And I just requested my MOC. It should be spawning here. There we go. So I got the message in the top left. Now I'm just going to open up my interaction menu and return the MOC to storage. Now I can simply just drive back into the bunker. All right. And I definitely recommend both of you guys exiting the bunker just to kind of clear everything back up. All right. So I'm going to enter in by myself and then I'm going to go ahead and send him an invite. So PlayStation, you guys just saw, we're using a recent activity. It's really, really easy on PlayStation. Just right D-pad, double tap the PS button, hit the Star GT online, and then sit on that alert, okay? Xbox, what I recommend probably is like, you know, once you're behind the MOC and you have the right D-pad option, you probably want to go ahead and open up your Xbox dashboard, hit join, you know, I mean, yeah, hit join game on a friend in a different targeting mode. So Xbox, make sure you're in free aim. And once you hit join game on your friend in a different targeting mode, just hit on it like twice, okay? So just double tap like AA, exit out of the dashboard, come back to the game, hit right D-pad right before those session details come up, 
and then just accept the first alert and sit on the second alert, okay? And that's what you wanna do. Once you do that, then you sit on there for 20 to 25 seconds and you have your friend enter the MOC, okay? So we're gonna go over it again one more time right here because this is after we had that issue where my friend was getting stuck on the black screen. This is how you fix it. You just take the MOC out and in, okay? So now that I have the recent activity ready, I'm gonna double tap and I'm gonna get ready. So I'm gonna hit right D-pad, double tap the PS button, start DT online, sit on this alert for 20 to 25 seconds. Now I'm gonna let my friend know after a little while to go ahead and enter the MOC and then go ahead and exit out. Once he's exited out, then I can decline the alert. So Xbox, remember, join game on a friend in a different targeting mode. Press right D-pad, accept the first alert, decline this, or, you know, sit on the second, sorry. So accept the first, sit on the second alert. 20 to 25 seconds, have your friend enter the MOC, exit the MOC. Once he's back out, you can decline that last alert, and there we go. We're all stuck on this, you know, weird animation here on the side of the MOC. This is a good thing. Once you've done that, that's the biggest timing issue of this glitch. So now, the reason why our friend needed to be the host is because right now, my friend Macclesfield, who just exited the MOC, I'm telling him to go ahead and start up a Titan of a job, okay? So once he lets me know that he's in a Titan of a job, I'm gonna go to the party, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit join game on him. So once I have this alert right here, I'm gonna let him know you can back out of the job. Once he's back down on the ground, I am free to go ahead and accept this alert. Once I accept this, I should get a second alert that says unable to connect. So there we go, unable to connect, accept that one as well. If you don't get shot up in the clouds, you're good to go. Open up the interaction menu, take the easy way out, all right? Once you've done that, you're pretty much done all, you know, in the bunker. You will spawn over at the docks. So this is why you want that vehicle at the docks, but sometimes it despawns. But check it out. I got the laser right here with Benny's. Macclesfield gave me this yesterday. This is where I got the footage from this, so check it out. So now... Once I have this, you know, this laser over here, I'm still kind of in a glitch state, you know, from the bunker and the MOC. What you want to do is go ahead and drive or fly or, you know, roll over to the entrance, okay? Because you want your MOC to spawn behind you, especially with a laser. You don't want to be flying this over to your MOC anywhere. You want to just keep it here. So I'm going to tell Mac to go ahead and go into his bunker and send me a bunker invite. That's what he just did. So I'm going to accept that bunker invite. Once that happens, nothing should literally happen whatsoever, okay, once he's there. So I'm going to go ahead and request my MOC now. Just have him still sitting inside of his bunker at this moment. All right. Once my MOC is out on the map, which it should be spawning right behind me, as you can see the icon right there on the bottom left. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and make my way over there. And I'm going to tell my friend to go ahead and enter his MOC into his bunker. OK, so remember, he was in his bunker. He sent me his invite. Now he's going to walk into his MOC that's also in his bunker. OK, and he's just going to stay put right there and he's eventually going to send me an invite into his MOC once I'm in position back here. So take your time. You don't have to go crazy with this, especially with, you know, an aircraft. You don't want to screw this up. Now, once I'm back here, you won't always get that message in the top left. That's OK, you know, but once you're back behind the MOC, pretty sure that you're in a good position to get, you know, sucked right in. He's going to send you an invite to his MOC. You're going to go ahead and accept that invite to the MOC and you're going to get caught on an infinite black loading screen like this. PlayStation, go ahead and start up a recent activity and decline the alert. All right. Really, really simple. Xbox, join that same friend in a different targeting mode, accept the first alert, decline the second alert. Once you do that, you will be taken off the black screen and we'll both be on the same page here for Xbox and PS4. So as you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and start this recent activity up. I'm going to hit start GTA online, get on this alert and decline it. So once Xbox accepts the first and declines the second alert, we're both going to be frozen here behind the MOC. Take a look at the bottom left. That mini map is all screwed up. You want to tell your friend to walk out of his bunker and walk back into his bunker. Simple as that. Uh, this whole time. So your friend walks out, walks out of the MOC, walks out of the bunker, walks back in his bunker. Okay. And once you see the radar go back to normal, should be a few seconds here. And I'm going to just automatically get sucked right into the MOC, just like you're looking at right now. So... There you go. The laser's going nuts in there. I actually catch fire here in a second, but don't worry. Even if you die at this point, you just spawn outside of the MOC. You don't always die, but in this case, I got pretty lucky. I was able to see a pretty cool show here. It's always fun to see the MOC get all glitched out and see things that aren't supposed to be in there. But uh, yeah, if you're still living, go ahead and exit the trailer. If you die, you're going to spawn outside anyways. So once you've done that, the, the aircraft is actually saved in your MOC already. You're good to go. So what you want to do now is open up your interaction menu and actually request personal vehicle from the MOC. So you see, I'm going to go to Mobile Operations Center, request personal vehicle. But you look at that. It's grayed out. It says you, I already have a personal vehicle out on the map. All you got to do if you have this issue, go to your motorcycle club menu and actually request a bike. Okay, once you request a bike, simply return it to storage. 
Once you've done that, check your mobile operations center menu again and look at that. I can now request personal vehicle. So I had the cops on me, I had to call them off, but there's the laser that I just had in my MOC. I'm gonna go ahead and fly it over to the hangar. Remember, the hangar is full, so this is this is the best thing. This is why we set this up in the very beginning so that we can just easily do this last part. So we get the hangar full alert. It says we have to replace over an aircraft. That's a good thing. You don't wanna be transferring spots from the hangar into the MOC. That's not meant to happen. That's why you end up getting a ghost spot in the MOC because you're not meant to swap vehicles from MOC to hangar or vice versa. So once we're in the hangar, it's gonna ask us to replace over a vehicle. Since we got a bunch of buzzards in here, or Pegasus vehicles that we don't care about, replace over any one of them. And you're gonna see right here, my laser eventually just spawns right in there and I'm good to go. Glitch is done, the vehicle is saved. So that's pretty much it guys. Now you're actually gonna still see in your MOC, it still says that there's a laser in there. Just order an RH8 over that one, okay? And you're good to go, all right? It's still, it'll still be in your hangar, you'll be fine, trust me. It's saved fully at this moment. You can go ahead and force a game save if you want, leave session, that's all up to you, but you are good to go, all right? So that's gonna be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. My name's Roll Easy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button, turn on post notifications, and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, everyone.